Before we get started in today's video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more content coming your way. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy B Chaos, and today I get to bring you a video on the Mugen Train movie from Demon Slayer. And let me tell y'all something. If you have not watched that movie yet, go watch the movie. Because it is fire. I'm going to give you a review of based off what I saw, what my perspective was. Because it was the first time I ever like saw that. You know, I never read that chapter before. So I, done, I had no information going in. And I was blown away from the stuff that I saw. So without further ado, let me just, let's take a deep dive in. Look. Well, I said that wrong, but a deep look into this review. Let's get it. So first, I want to start off with the train aspect itself. I felt like the trip itself was a very interesting spin on that turn of a take. I never saw, well, I've seen like anime that do it, but I have not seen it to where like it, that type of caliber, like all the characters got themselves some great screen time, like uh, Tanjiro. Tanjiro had some great moments. I mean, ugh, that man was going in. And Nosuke? That man in Nosuke is a problem. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. He is a problem. And then Zanetsu just did that one move. But Zanetsu just chilling. So it's like, it's okay for me. But the character that blew me away the most is the Hashira. Rengoku. Rengoku is that dude. And I'm going to keep saying it to this day. That man is great. Also, spoiler warning if you have not seen the movie yet. But anyways, Rengoku does die at the end toward to an upper third um, demon. Uh, I forgot his name. It starts with an A. I think I'll put a picture up like around this area. But he was the one who killed him. And personally, I like that. I like how the fact that Rengoku just, just was out the question. And from what I know, just based off some talk this discussions of with my friends i know that he, that when goku is the strongest hashira at this moment of time so with that being said an upper third just killed when goku like that everyone's going to have to step up their game and the next arc will be the red light district so i'm reading that right now and currently that is fire i mean oh my goodness demon slayer i just i, I just think demon slayer is gonna be very good moving forward i see why people enjoy it a lot but i'm not gonna sit up here and say it's the greatest but it is very great in its own echelon but for me i feel like if you have not watched this movie yet i suggest you watch it and i feel like as a whole demon slayer is going to turn out to be very very good like very very good but this movie it was like oh the animation was fire. And then I saw it in theaters. The one thing that happened in theater, no one was talking in the mood. Like in that whole movie theater, we had no reactions. We were just silent the whole time. From what the seats I had with my friends and stuff, we didn't really get that much of reactions. So it's like, that's what shocked me the most out of everything. Like nobody like really bursted out. And I feel like, they should have a little bit at some of those scenes because I was about to be like, ooh, and ah, but, you know, you got to do, it is what it is. And honestly, I think for a firsthand experience, I think that Demon Slayer movie is very good. And I see why it did pass Spirited Away and all these other movies. And it's the highest grossing selling movie of all time in Japan. So it's like, I don't have a problem with it now that I think about it. Like, this just made me enjoy Demon Slayer a lot more, and it makes me want more content from Demon Slayer. It makes me want to have this next season. It makes me want to see everything pan out towards the end. And that's what you need as fans and the fandom of this show. You need people who want to get the more attention from it. Because the more attention you want from the show, the more likely you'll get more and more seasons. That's just how I see it. And I feel like as a whole, this just proved and this made a lot of more shows about to do a lot more movies and it's just going to be a cycle. I think Demon Slayer is the mod is a modern shonen that's going to echelon and boost everyone else quality up in work. So I think that that makes it much better in that I need to talk about the movie itself actually. So they were at the um in the train 
You got that big D. You got that one demon. Uh, yeah, so uh, they took him out. That's what shocked me. I didn't expect him to get out. But the one thing that shocked me was was the upper third demon coming out of nowhere. That was the main part of like the movie. I was like, oh, this is about to get real and all that fun stuff. So I think that's what made it a lot better, in my opinion. It's that echelon of surprise and that fight with Rengoku. Ugh, that, that's a top fight. That's a top fight. That To me, that's the fight of the year. You can't beat that fight. Yeah, you cannot beat that fight. That's the fight of the year, in my opinion. I feel like this movie also made me enjoy Inosuke a lot more than I previously did. Because at first, I'm like, eh, he's okay. Like, I don't really see the hype around him. But now I see why people enjoy him. And I'm going to be honest. Inosuke's very good as a character. The more and more I think about it, he just he just gets better each day. He might turn out to be my favorite yet. I don't know. Like, so far, my favorite is Anetsu because he's Anetsu. But, like... Everyone else is boosting up in their quality of work. So, all right, y'all. But that's all that I'm going to do today. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Just a little quick review of my thoughts about the Demon Slayer movie. And I think that movie was very good and panned out. And, yeah, y'all have a good one. I'm B-Kins. I'm out. Bye-bye.